Well, the first thing is to look at it into perspective. So you start off with a medical check, because I always start there, because there are lots of reasons why a kid might not be firing or might be anxious. Then you look at it as a, a context check. Where's it happening? After school? Before school? Just in the mornings? Is it just where, where and when is it happening? Then you, you can do a parent self-check. Um, and uh, am I anxious? Is that being transmitted to the children? Uh, we can do a management check. Is it the way I'm managing? For instance, if I respond to every anxious feeling my kids do, is that actually reinforcing their anxiety because they get more attention? Uh, is, there, you know, is, it, is it the home environment? Is it all too fast, too snappy, too edgy? And um, is there a problem with att attachment? If there's a problem with attachment, then uh, that probably needs to be addressed because that can make kids feel very insecure. It's not a, sen a life sentence, it just means none of us have perfect attachment, so we work on it, and that way we get to know our own kids. Now, if none of those are working, and I've mentioned them in slightly different order to the order they are in the book, but if none of them are working, then that's when you go to see a, a well-experienced clinical child psych because they're the professional mind sweepers that can give you an angle that you may not have been able to think of because you're caught up in the middle of this maelstrom of anxious kids and anxious family and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, I think that's the sequence. And, uh, and then, of course, the activities I've put into the book give parents an ideal way to some of the activities and games they can try that will show the kids, hey, this can be fun to actually beat this worry button.